Hello everyone, welcome to the Cloud Network. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to install latest version of Ubuntu that is 16.04. The long LTS long term support version has been released today and the Ubuntu about and for that one I am going to open the website. First of all, you need to download the virtual box. Uh, here is our website of the virtual box. Just you need to join tap on the URL virtualbox.org slash download. Once you type and open the site, here is about you need to download the virtual box having the latest version 5.0.18 is for the supported for the Windows and it will be automatically detect 32 bit and 64 bits. Once you uh, download this virtual box for Linux people can download this virtual box 64 bit supported only and uh, if you want extension also you can download the extension all supported here once you click and here if you click it will show you the supported and here is my video which uh, how to install the virtual box in my channel you can find and these links download links and the website links you can find the uh, below to my video in the description box and this is about how to install the virtual box latest version 5 so so and uh, here is about the Ubuntu 16.04 Zynal Zersus is the name has been given where you can download about the release of this one. So this has been released today itself only and here is about the desktop supported uh, image which you want to download or the server installation which you want to install in your virtual box and also you can install this Ubuntu 16.0 not only in the virtual box you can install in the VMware workstation also. The method are the same and the procedure also and here when you scroll down you can find the links also download to download if you want to iso image you want uh, you want to download means just click on this link it will be open and download here it will be start automatically and if you want for the server support 64 bit you can download and this one is a 32 bit and this one is 64 bit and this one is 32 bit and 64 bit and if you want download from the other types like torrent you want to download once you click on this one it will be downloaded from the torrent and here is supported about the other flavors versions also once you can download the iso image and here is about the my size about the uh, desktop and uh, this you can see this is 1.3.8 that is 1.38 is the gb of the 16.04 desktop supported after that you need to open your virtual box which I have already downloaded and installed click new and you need to give the name here any name you can give here and I am giving Ubuntu Ubuntu 16.16.04 and here is automatically detected and if you are not getting the 64 bit option in your version you need to enable the virtualization VTX which you can find in the to my video also so you can find in my video also link and you can find this uh, uh, enable virtualization video link in the description box also so once you check your type and version and name click on next to assign the RAM uh, just assign the last point of the green do not go to the uh, do not go to the red point on the green point of the last click on next then you to click on create now and you need to click on next next and this is the size of your um, Ubuntu hard disk size which I am giving like I am giving 25 GB for this uh, installation image and uh, this is a location which is going to store in a computer laptop or a desktop also where you install it if you want to change you can change the location by default you want to keep this location you can keep this location also just now I have changed my location and just click edit now and after that you need to go to settings here once you go to the settings uh, you need to click on the uh, advanced description everything is okay or not click on system uncheck copy click on processor EP enable X and check this box enable BTX and MD you need to enable in BIOS also in your laptop or desktop where you are installing so please just enable these BIOS in the option virtualization uh, text enable Af if you enable this one Intel VTX or AMD VN then only you will get a 64 bit option so click on the storage click on empty once you click on empty go to the small CD icon click choose where you have downloaded the ISO image so this is my ISO image which I have downloaded 
click on open it now and click on network select the bridge adapter here and click ok once you click on ok just click on start it now so it's booting let us come this language it will come default step by step procedure i will show you uh, which option you need to select which option just keep a few minutes wait so on the screen you can see it's loading 16.04 so it's so here is loading every services here so on the screen you can see 16.04 startup job is showing so now you can see on the screen well came on the welcome here you need to select the left side on the screen you need to select the your language which language you belongs to which language you prefer for the installation and here without installing ubuntu you can try the ubuntu before installing the ubuntu in your laptop or the desktop or virtual box or vm workstation just click on the try ubuntu you can access everything before installing so now here i am going to install the ubuntu once you click on the install ubuntu it will be uh, your keyboard layout and your everything it will be load so here you want to select your uh, third party installation you can select but i am skipping this one and for your purpose you need to select this option so that will be loaded your everything uh, good so you once you select this option it will be load everything uh, step step and i am clicking the continue if you want to go back you can go back if you want to quit it now you can quit here also about the installation type so please remember when you are installing ubuntu 16.04 in your system desktop or the server means just take a backup before formatting i am telling you repeatedly against that please take a backup before installing in your desktop laptop or server once you select this first option means it will be erase everything and install so you can have the second option also selecting and if you want to have your manually partition you want to give select something else and you need to cre create a resize partition yourself only so i am selecting the first part of for first option and you need to click on install now so here you can select the two partitions have been selected partition 4 and the swap it has been selected to partition automatically once you click on continue to select your time zone uh, click on the time according to your country belongs to and you can type also here once you click you can type the manually also click on continue and you need to select it uh, keyboard out here select the language keyboard and you can type in the search bar also click on continue so here you need to give your are you that means the system login I am giving uh, cloud cloud and I am giving here cloud my channel name I am, in, I am giving here you can give any name here according to your purpose and you can give the pickup name also and I am giving the password here I am giving the with password you need to give a password and repeat the same password and it will be automatically login if you check the required password you can check once you click on continue, you need to wait it for a few minutes. Now on the screen you can see it's uh, installing the and it's copying the files. You want to see the which files is copying, you can just click on the small arrow next to the about the next to the copy files. You can see here is installing loading and uh, just you need to wait here uh, 15 to 20 minutes to complete the installation. Then back to then I am going to show you the uh, welcome to the cloud. Uh, welcome to the Ubuntu 16.04. So just wait for a few minutes. Now on the screen you can see we need installation completed. I'm going to re restart now. So now this is welcome screen came. So this is Ubuntu 16.04. Let me show you. Just click on the settings. Go to your about computer. This will show you about the version uh, Ubuntu 16.04. The screen you can see this is the version 16.04 latest version. I've been shown now. 
and now I'm going to show you how to make this a full screen. So um, you can see on the screen it's not working this full screen here and I'm going to show you how this will uh, make a full screen. Uh, just click on your uh, device and you have to click insert test edition. Once you click on that one, insert test editions, it will be come up here on the pop-up menu. Just click on it run. Once you click on run, it's going to be start installing and downloading. Once you type the password for this one, installation, so you can have run the software. Press it after typing the password and uh, here about the installing these. Just wait for the few uh, five minutes only. And now you need to just uh, see on the screen you need to press and enter to close this window. Once you close this one, you need to restart this one Ubuntu. So now I'm going to restart this one now and click on the settings, go to shutdown, and then to click on restart it now. After that, I will show you the full screen resolution. See on the screen, I will check this full screen resolution. And now you can see it's working this full screen resolution also here. You can change from width and length also. I forgot to show you about the requirement for the installation. You can see on the screen this is about the minimum requirement and this is the maximum requirement is before installing. So please be keep this and watch my share this video among your friends and relatives. Help you with my channel. Please subscribe to CloudNet channel. Thank you for watching my video.